Hey there viewers, it's Charlie, I'm back again with another Transformers review and today's review is going to be on Legacy United Tigerhawk Now when they first showed off this, this figure, I was immediately excited and well, the reason why is kind of interesting because well Tigerhawk appears in Transformers Earth Wars, which is a mobile game why he's in Earth Wars, I have no idea. But hey, that's how I got introduced to the character. So, when he announced that Tiger Hawk was, uh, uh, was going to be in the first wave of United, I was immediately excited. It's just a shame that back in the day, they immediately killed this guy off, because apparently they didn't know if this guy was going to sell well or not. And then released the figure after this guy had been killed in the show. I could not make this up if, 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 if I wanted to. But, well, let's just move on to the box. So, we've got the standard leader class packaging, except... It's no longer closed off. Yes, this was another thing I was excited for. For United and... For as well as the 2024 Studio Series, they're no longer doing closed boxes for the leader class, which I am so happy for, because with uh, closed boxes, you know, it can tell if you're actually getting the figure or if someone's swapped with a shitty wrestling figure or not. So now that we can actually see the figure again, well, I'm just so happy that they're, they're doing this again. But well, got a picture of Tiger Hawk in his uh, beast mode. Beast Wars Universe Tiger Hawk. So with United, every uh, universe, including G1 and Beast Wars, is getting the universe uh, designation. This side, we've got a close up of him in robot mode. Got his face. Got. This side of the United Mural. Of course, we got Thundertron. Got oh, one of the two Magnuses. Half of uh, Magbatron, Energon Megatron, Tasmania Kid, and of course, got Tiger Hawk. The back. Got him in both modes. And that's pretty much it for the box. Unfortunately, there's no more QR codes and uh, no more. Eva Fusion, so that's pretty much it. But for the uh, figure, well, we've got our second Transmetal 2 figure, the first one being Megatron. And this is some sort of weird fusion between a Hawk and a tiger, as per the name. And apparently this character is meant to be a fusion between the sparks of Tiger... Uh, I was going to say Tiger Hawk, but Tiger Tron and Air Razor. So this is just meant to be them, like, fused together, apparently. And while well, the resulting uh, beast is... Well, of course, with it being a transmetal 2, it's really crazy to look at. Because the front half is the tiger half, and got the back half, which is just the bird half. So, yeah. And we've got quite a lot to look at here, so let's start off with the head. And it seems to be looking down, and I do want to... Angle it up, but I don't think that's possible. Now, on the original figure, which... Well, the original figure had blues instead of purple, which was not accurate, but... The original figure actually had a gimmick where you could fold up a helmet. And I wish they kept on this figure, because that looks really cool. I know some third-party company could, like, do a add-on mask, but... Still. But we got the little spark chamber thing. I think that's what that 
is, but it's quite small here. And on, on, on the original figure, that was quite big. So yeah, I wish they molded that a little bit bigger. Because right now it just looks like a, a pimple or a boil. Got the uh, front claws, which I think look uh, really intimidating. Going to the uh, bird half, we've got the wings, which I've got folded down right now. Of course, it can splay out. So we can do that. And of course, we've got the uh, back legs, which are from the, the bird half. The uh, tail feathers right here. And uh, looking at the wings right here, these are really nicely sculpted. I especially like the uh, green bit here. So, yeah. And we do have some uh, gimmicks here. For example, we can come to the back here, and we can actually flip out some guns. And these guns are our separate uh, pieces, so I can actually detach these, which I'll do later, but I'll just detach the gun, flip that around. So, yeah, we've got some pop guns, and for blast effect compatibility, well... Let's just try and plug one into here. Yep, these can take blast effects. It's kind of hard to see, but... Yep, these can take blast effects. The wings can also spread, so you can display them like he's flying. So you can do that if you want. So, yeah. Trying to flip these back around. Get the wings back folded back down. Now, I do really like this. Uh, um, I, I do really like the beast mode, but there are some complaints that I have. Namely, the wings don't really uh, tap in. Like, there's meant to be a, a tab that this goes into, but yeah, this doesn't really tab in that well. So that's quite annoying. And it persists to robot mode as well. My second complaint, I can't really get the uh, belly section to uh, tab in that well. I'm not sure if it's something I'm doing wrong, like I always do, or if this is an issue with the figure itself. But yeah, I just have to leave this uh, sort of uh, splitting open. It's not visible when displaying the figure just uh, like this, but still kind of annoying. But well, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much the beast mode, so just before we move on to the transformation, here he is with Dragon Megatron, and ooh, that's a big figure. Like, even if I raise my camera, I will tilt it, you still can't see Megatron. So here we have the two, well, transport two figures together. And these guys look really cool together. So, yeah. Now, for it, the, uh, the accessories are pretty much just on the figure, like, 
These are the uh, little wing swords and the gun is on the uh, figure, so I'll show this off in robot mode. So, to get this guy transformed... Well, the, the transformation for this guy is kind of a... Uh, well, if you've seen the original figure then, this guy transformed pretty similar to, the, to that. And well, it can get kind of confusing if you don't know what you're doing, so... Expect me to uh, fumble around with this a few times. So to start, I'm just going to get the wings out of the way. I'm just going to fold them up to get them out of the way. I'm going to fold up the claws so we can get the feet out. Fold up the heel and fold on this purple section. Do the same with this uh, foot. So I fold Fold the core around, fold the heel around, fold on this purple section, and that's pretty much the uh, feet done. Rotate the, the bad legs around, and tap these from here. This up. Try and brush the legs down. On top, the uh, disarm from the wings. On top, this arm. That just moves up. This whole section just swivels around 90 degrees. This whole section moves up. Take the head, get that out of the way. We'll take it from this little crevice, spin it around. Then just get that into this uh, section, so we can get the legs tabbed in. Move the tail feathers down to form a uh, loincloth. Get the uh, bad legs down. And you have to move these in such a way where, in the robot mode, you just go on the shoulders. And I can never remember how that actually goes. There we go, so you want it orientated like this. Close these chest sections up like this. Get the arms down. Move this to the back. Take the bird legs and move them to the shoulders. Try and tap the backpack in because it has the wings. And as I said, this doesn't really want to tab in. Then finally, open the just open this up. Get the hand out. Rotate the forearm around. So just open this up. Get the forearm out. Get the hand out. If I can actually do that. It's actually giving me a bit of trouble now. There we go. And 
And well, here we have Tiger Hawk in robot mode. And well, once you find out where things are meant to go, then yeah, you can breeze through the, the transformation. It's just when you first read the instructions, it can get kind of confusing. Especially seeing how, you know, this is an asymmetrical robot mode. The head's on one shoulder. So, yeah. But still, I think that this is kind of fun. Like, this is a transformation where I, I can see myself sort of uh, transforming it back and forth if I'm uh, bored. So, just having a 360. Of course, we've got the huge wingspan. And well, just looking at the head. You can see that that's kind of a monstrous looking head because the, it's got the sharp teeth there. We've got the maximum insignia right there. Which makes me wonder, if we were to get a Razor Claw recolor of this guy, would he keep the maximum insignia? Because on the original Razor Claw figure, like the uh, black repaint of this guy, like he had a Decepticon insignia somewhere, but he kept the uh, maximum insignia because it was molded on, on the original figure. So, like, say we, well, we were to get like a, a select Razor Claw, Razor Claw figure, would he keep the Maximal Insignia or would that be a Decepticon Insignia? But anyway, so for accessories, well, we can just t take these bits of the wings off. So we just pull these off. And you can see what I mean by this not wanting to stay on. But now we got these. Or if you want, we can uh, take the guns off. So we can just. So we can take a gun off and he can hold that. However, I prefer to display him with the wing swords. So I'm just going to put that back on. Can get that back in. There we go. And now we can give him the uh, wings as swords. I don't know how these would work as swords. These would probably work better as fans. I don't know, like he can fan his his enemies away. But hey, why not? And this is also an, an accessory. A little, uh, I guess, arm garden. And for this, this can also take blast effects. So, yeah, but yeah, this pretty much just stays on his arm in both modes, so once you attach it after taking this guy out the box, you don't need to remove it. And this is one of the few figures that doesn't have the portion of feet, so we can't do any laser feet, unfortunately. Like this. Kingdom Primal, and I think also maybe uh, Animated Bumblebee. I, I don't have to figure it yet, but it looks like he he also lacks them. But eh. But now we've we got this guy all armed up and ready to, I guess, fan his enemies away. Maybe the gusts of wind are just so powerful or something. Or... or he, yeah, I'm gonna see what the second thing is. So, 
So, uh, yeah. And well, if we put him with Megatron, he... Well, I left the, uh, flame thing on my, uh... uh, 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 uh the flame thing is, uh... I, I do have it. I just left it on my bed while transforming this guy, so... But hey, he's got the, uh... The, uh, freaking dragon arm, so... He can still, uh, bite Tiger Hawk if he needs to a fight. But yeah, like, these guys look really good together. And it kind of makes me hope we get some more Transmetal 2 figures, like... Maybe a second, uh, Optimal Optimus. With, with all four modes. Maybe. But, yeah, maybe, like, a two-pack of, uh, Cryotech and Razor Claw. Because, like, yeah, like, these guys just look really good together. And, well, for this guy's articulation... Well, his head can go side to side... He can look up and down. The wings, they can go go out. So it, if you want to just display them like that, then well, you yeah, you'll definitely need a, a lot of shelf space for that. But you can do that. Likewise, the wings can fold up if you need the shelf space. And these, I don't. Well, yeah, go back on you, but the wings do fold up if you need the shelf space. The arms can uh, go forward, but can't really go back because of the wings. It's pretty much got trigger happy shoulders, unfortunately. Oh, well, this shoulder does. But this shoulder, it can go out just fine. But it does also have a joint there. He's got, an, he's got an elbow, bicep rotation, nothing at the rest, so he can't do the uh, leak spin if you want. If we uh, move up his uh, loin cloth, he's got waist articulation. Ratchet at the leg, so he can kick forward, kick back. And, and knee up to there, although... The yeah, detail only goes up, up to there and then it just breaks. He can do the splits. Swivel here. And the feet. Really good pivot. So, yeah, that's a really great uh, articulation. I just don't know if he's got, like, a flight stand. I don't think he has one, unfortunately. Or if he does, it's, like, further up, and I can't see it. But still, this guy looks really nice. And, yeah, I think this is... Look, this is his first figure since the original, so I think this is a, a really great return for Tiger Hawk. Like, this is a really, really good figure. In fact, I'm gonna go on par and saying this is a, a, one of my favorite figures in Legacy, period. So, yeah. So, do I recommend him? Absolutely, because. Well, this is pretty much just a really, really great upgrade of the original figure. I mean, it, it doesn't do everything that the original does. It doesn't have the missile launches, but... Still, this is a really, really good upgrade of, of the original, and it's really so accurate as well. And, well, it's just another great addition to the Beast Wars shelf, if you have one. So, yeah... And I've already seen my complaints. 
like the uh, split in the chest and the robot mode, eh, not not robot mode, the uh, beast mode. The wings don't really uh, tab in that well, but I mean, if it displays this guy, then that's not really going to be a big issue. And I, I think this is pretty much my only complaint, aside from the transformation being a bit weird, but yeah, this guy is. This guy is just really great. Like, this guy is just amazing. So, yeah, I definitely do recommend this guy, especially if you're a fan of Beast Wars. And now I'm, I'm really excited for the upcoming Silver Bolt. So, yeah. Well, this has been my review on Legacy United Tiger Hawk. And this is Charlie Young signing off.